behind Won't stop till the finish line We'll go Together on this open road It feels amazing and it feels really surreal open road I Stordalen, här som vi är nu, lagar jag exokoden. My favorite movie, they say. Surreal but nice, but this is surreal but amazing. <laughs> because I really, when I tested the exopod in, in last December, I really, really, really didn't believe that I would be picking up my very own exoquad just months later. It felt like a dream, that's something, a goal that I would work towards, but not something that would become reality within such a short time frame. So yeah, it feels amazing. Surreal, but amazing. And I'm, I'm just so excited to, to pick it up. It's, it's difficult to think about anything else and it has been for a few weeks. <laughs> Kan du stå på det? Nej. Är du säker? Nej. Vet du vad mamma ska göra? Nej, jag vet inte. Vad är det här då? Kommer du gå ut och köra exekoden eller? Ja. Ska jag hämta exekoden? Är du bäst alls? Det är bara det. Att vi måste stå upp och det måste du. Vem då? Ska vi stå upp eller? Ja. Det är så bra. Det är bra. Det to the idea of trying a crowdfunding campaign because when my wife asked me if that was something I was looking to, to try to do, I thought it, it can't hurt anyone to try. But at the same time, I really had low expectations. I didn't think it would be successful. I didn't think this would be the result that we would actually be able to get the exocord uh, after just a few months. So when I saw the, re the response and I saw all the kind words and messages and people contributing to the, the crowdfunding, then I was just blown away. It was, yeah, it was really amazing and I felt an enormous amount of gratitude. One of the things I think that people don't think about when they think about losing the ability to, to walk in one way or another, whether you are paralyzed or like me, you're just not able to walk as well anymore, um, is that it shouldn't mean that you have to settle. And with a lot of the mobility aids that we are, are provided, um, settling is inevitable. You, you have to settle with not being able to go on dirt roads. Um, you're not able to go up stairs or you're not able to kind of roam freely anymore. Um, but with the extra cord I can. So yeah, it's a huge, huge thing for me. And I think it will be for everyone that gets to try the extra cord.
I will go discover the gold. Go anywhere to uncover the bold in me. When I have got the limitations that I've got, um, it felt natural for me to look for solutions for that problem. And the biggest solution that I found was actually the exoquad. Because it kind of looks like it's going to solve most of uh, my limitations. We'll discover all there is to see, cause we are pioneers, you and me. We'll explore and we will come alive, cause we are pioneers of this life. The first thing I want to do when I pick up my exoquad is go out with my family on a hike. And I would prefer it to be a beautiful hike back home in Sunmere, because the mountains there are not accessible, um, so you have to have a, quite a powerful tool to be able to hike there uh, if you can't walk properly. So that's the first thing I really, really want to do. I want to bring my boys uh, out some some mountain top and show them my mountains um, because that really means a lot to me. So yeah. I'm hoping that this weekend we will be able to head out and, and do a hike. That would be that would be amazing. What are you scared of, Dougal? Um, what about this? Get a rest. Mm. Mm. So good. My home. The biggest reason I wanted the Exoquad is that it will give me my freedom back. I will be able to do a lot of things I was able to do before and yeah, I really really miss the freedom and being independent and the Exoquad will help me get back at it. <laughs> Let's run.